All right, so several of you have asked about um, my email signature, how to create one for yourself. So I am going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. Uh, the first thing that, or the yeah, first place that we're gonna go is we're gonna go to wisestamp.com. If you have received an email from you, you can actually click on create your own email signature right here and it will take you there. Um, looks like you're, you will also get like a little discount for clicking on my link. Um, but if you are going to ystamp.com, um, the first thing you want to do is click on signature generator to get to uh, where we are going to create that signature. Okay. Same thing if you click the link, you're just going to create a personal signature. I'm going to go ahead and close one of these. And it is really straightforward. So uh, the first thing that you're going to do is type your name. Oh, wait. Since I can't really see what this is saying right here. Oh, it's your title. So your name, I'm going to do, this is my DIY account, okay? So your title, um, and I will be referencing this. Um, I just have my, I don't have my title, I just have my company name. If you want to put your phone number, I do not. I'm just going to copy and paste the same time. Okay, let's see how we're looking here. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload a photo. Now, what you see is what's really cool is if you have a... Um, image that stores somewhere online maybe a google um in your drive you can put the link here you can grab a photo from facebook or instagram or you can take one but we're just gonna find one um here's one i just uploaded i click done and you'll see that it does have my image there. Now, if you're wondering how to get a circular image, you will need to use something like Canva to save the image as a circle um, first and then upload it into here. Um, do, do, do. Okay, you can go ahead and add all of your social. So... All of mine is Denise Nicole, except for uh, Twitter. It's, there's an underscore. Uh, hopefully that will be changed soon. Someone, a bot or something basically cloned my account and it got messed up. So now you can actually change the template. So I'm using the classic one and there are only two available to you if you are um, using the free one. So basically there's a horizontal line here and then in the classic one, the, it's a vertical line. And I guess I like the vertical line better. So 
Um, none of these things you can use, but you want to make sure that you click on apps, click on uh, style sign off, um, and here's where you change uh, what it looks like. You can have that, or you can, I think in mine, it's actually really cute, right? I guess you can change your font, but if you just want to sign off, like how mine currently is, um, you can choose what you'd like it to say. really cool you can um, change it throughout okay you can draw something we're definitely not going to do that so we're going to add this and Let me make sure that we drag it down there so that we can actually see it. No. Because I don't see it. Oh, duh, I was back on draw and I never drew anything. So let's fix that. There you go. And then, um, you see that there are some other options that you can add. You can add a disclaimer, a green footer. You can add a quote. Let's click on that. Um, unfortunately, you cannot add your own quote unless you go pro. But there might be something there you like. Um, let's see, videos, and that's really cool. You can uh, just drop your YouTube video link or playlist link uh, right there. Really like that. This, I feel like has definitely been updated since I created this. This is the Instagram gallery, image gallery. I guess it really just depends on what your business is or what you like. I love the book of meeting. If again, that is something um, that you do in your business. What does that say? And signing up is free, so you can still do an online payment. I guess it just says make a payment. So yeah, if you have some time, I love this. Of course, you can only have one. Um... So yeah, whatever it is that you are uh, wanting to have people do the most, you can um, put it directly in your footer of your email. Um, I, even though you can only have one at a time, like things change, you know, you might be, you might have a webinar going on once that's over, you might want people to join your newsletter and so then you can come and change that. And um you might have a sales event once that goes off then you're like you know book me or go ahead and pay like i really like these options uh you're just gonna say okay i'm done and you're going to let's create a password 
this is signing up um you can sign up or you can sign up with google so we're going to sign up with google it's easy i'm going to allow and then it's working in the background you can also create um multiple signatures if you upgrade to pro but in order to use the signature that you now have you're going to click install how do i add my new email signature to gmail your email signature is assigned okay so let's refresh your gmail now let's compose Clearly, I don't use that, but if you don't see it, then you're going to want to go to your settings wheel. Click on see all settings. On this general tab, you're going to want to scroll all the way down. Um, no. Well, let's try that again. It is not here. So what we're going to do I wonder why. That's not working. Okay, here we go. Got so many open, I don't even know. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah. And then it's not going to be a lie. There, finally. Okay, so I don't even know what I did <laughs> to make that happen. Um, I think I just made sure that I selected my signature 
and then it said signature settings updated successfully so if you run into issues with your signature then make sure you do that okay if it doesn't automatically go over like it should automatically go over so just to recap we clicked on our little profile we did we clicked on signature settings we selected my signature signature settings updated successfully and then it was there okay so now going to uh the changes have already been saved but now i'm going to compose and there <laughs> now it is there so i'm glad i captured that just in case someone um you know if you're watching and you have issues you know exactly what to do to get yours working for you but now every time you send out an email you have a super cute <laughs> and useful email signature and you don't have to update this again one thing that i like about y stamp is that if you do um because you created an account and you have linked it to your uh google gmail this is obviously um <laughs> assuming you have a gmail i did see that there were some other ones you can link it to but uh, wherever you link it to, if you come in here and make changes uh, to the details, to your photos, you can just click done or save and it will automatically update. And so you don't have to like copy and paste anything into your settings. Like it will do that for you and you'll just always be up to date. So yeah, this is a lot longer than I anticipated. Um, it being but again glad we ran into that issue and resolved it so that if you experience the same thing you'll be able to do the same thing and get this working so let me know um if you have any questions email me at denise nicole um hi at denise nicole .com so that I can see your email signatures that you create I'm excited and um, happy I can help you get this done. All right, peace.